we're back. Uh, another pickups video. So I've had my week off. Well, 11 days off. Still got a few days left. Uh, off from work. And yeah, we've been travelling, going around places, doing bits. And managed to get quite a few pickups. So I've got a car boot we did last weekend. Uh, a CEX. Blackpool, uh, not Black, Blackpool trip. Skegness trip. We went down Skeggy for the day. And I got quite a bit from Skeggy actually. And then some pickups got from town and birthday presents. Um, I had planned, or I was going to have a nice cold cider again with this one, but it's like half past ten in the morning. And yeah, I ain't feeling it, so just on the juice. I'll have them cans later. Saved up nice and chilled. So yeah, I hope everybody is well as usual. Um, we have got some other bits and bobs pickups as well, some vinyls. And I got from town and some bit sprackets of spread there. Yeah. It's too early. Some bits scattered around. Some random bits. Uh, before we start with these ones, there was one. Cause I knew I always forget some of it. So on my last pickups video, uh, the comment back video where I had the car boot stuff. If anyone was there totting up and realised the discrepancies, because I missed something, even though it's here right by side of me. Um, yeah, I got this from the last car boot as well, one we'd not been to before. Um, it was a Guitar Hero live guitar. Um, I got this for a quid, which is a great price uh, for either obviously to keep or to trade in. I'm not trading it in yet because I don't really know what to do with it. Um, I'm probably going to keep it because I only have one of these guitars as it is. And obviously me and the missus play quite a lot of Guitar Hero together. So to play the Guitar Hero Live one, you have to have a live guitar because it's a different button configuration. Uh, so now I've got two of these, so we can actually play co-op. So I'll probably be keeping this, not bad for a quid. Um, so yeah, there was that as well. So that was added into the, the overall breakdown price. Let's pull that back down there and make sure I ain't forgot anything else. Um, so yeah, a lot of the stuff that I had to trade in has been traded in. Um, a lot of stuff that I had that I was taking to like some of the markets and stuff and sticking on people's stalls that would let me. Um, I was going through it all, and obviously with the CX prices going up and down, quite a lot of the stuff that I had um, was trading in for more than what I was going to sell it for anyway. So it's just all gone in. I just wanted some more space, trying to sort out. So I just chopped in loads of stuff. Um, I took a load of games into my local CEX when I was like obviously going to work and stuff. So they've all gone in, got a fair bit of credit. Uh, the two controllers that I had from the last video, the last pickup video, I got two Xbox 360 controllers, got them at a quid each. Now I took them into my local and I took them in like first thing in the morning, which is probably, I don't know, a bad thing to do, but I needed to get done, I had stuff to do. And they both come back and the guy said that we can't take them because the bumpers are sticking, um, which I knew was... BS anyway because I'd already tested them at home to make sure that they worked um, so I, I, It's just one of the things sometimes they'll take stuff sometimes they won't and uh, my look this one in particular Regularly doesn't take stuff for some reason just constantly Just give stuff back so I try not to trade stuff into that one But when I've got no choice, you know, it's just easy to get going to work and stuff um, So anyway the next day was when we went to Skege, so I took a load of stuff with me as well to trading, so there's a CX down there. And I took them to controllers again, and yeah, they took them in no problem, so I got a fair bit of credit for them. The two controllers, I also chopped in a PS2 console that was laying around uh, that I didn't need, and a DS Lite silver one, which is a bit battered, but got some decent credit on it. I think I've got 30 quid tra credit or something ridiculous on that. Was that 20, 30 for the PS2? Anyway, I ended up with like 75 80 quid credit just from that one trip uh, but overall i had three trips to cx trade stuff in and yeah i've got me i'm just looking i've got like 150 odd quid credit now so that video was on about with the xbox stuff um should hopefully be coming now because i've got a fair bit of credit i found stuff that i want i was having a bit of an issue actually because I spoke to the guy at CX, he's like, oh, what's the uh, the deal ordering online now with the, um, obviously, postage charge and stuff. And he's like, oh, as long as you spend over £50, postage is free. 
And I remember seeing on or hearing on someone's video they were saying that it, that's now gone up to a hundred pound. Now I asked after the, after that, and yeah, the guy was still saying it was fifty pound. Either way, I'd got like over one hundred fifty, one hundred sixty pound of items in there, and it was still trying to charge me a ridiculous amount for postage, like sixty, seventy quid for postage. It weren't taking it off for some reason, so I don't really know what the deal is. So until I sort that out, um, yeah, it video will come eventually. It will be coming because that's what that credit is for now. But I'm kind of also glad I held off a little bit because we found some Xbox stuff in the wild. So we've actually got some OG Xbox, um, only a handful of titles, but yeah, find them in the wild, still great. Um, it's getting slim pickings, but to even find some, and I found a couple of them at the booter as well, which is surprising. Um, but we'll get to that as we do it. So uh, I guess we'll make a start on the old picky ups. So we'll start with the booter that we did last week, because today's Saturday, so we'll probably be going again tomorrow. I was going to wait to do this video, but you know, that's another video I can make um, next week for another booter. So we'll have one booter per video, I think, and obviously it depends on what you find. So uh, we went to a different booter again, so I was trying to assess the situation in the area, which ones are the good to go to and that kind of stuff. So it went to a different one we've not been for a while. And actually did all right, did okay, found a few decent bits. So they're on my thing, they're all moving, try not to knock them all down. So, we, overall we've got a lot of Xbox stuff again, as you'd imagine, Xbox 360, a handful of Xbox One titles, but we do have a DS game and some PS1. So we'll start with the PS1 titles, so I can put them safely over here. I'm just getting my breakdown of this car boot as well, so I can remember how much I've actually bloody paid for these. So yeah, the three PS1 games we got from one person and he was doing them at a deal. I think they were like two quid each or three for a fiver. So we got the three for a fiver. Um, so the first one I picked up, because it was kind of a nostalgic pickup as well. So I remember when the PlayStation first came out, I didn't have it straight on launch, but a friend of mine did. So I was always going around here and playing and stuff. And we used to play this game quite a lot. Um, so when I seen it, I was like, yeah, I've got to pick that up. And it's in really good condition. And in fact, all of these are. Um, so, first one I'm going to kick off with is Lone Soldier. So, it's a 3D, um, just kind of run and gun, really. You just you play as the Lone Soldier, just kind of uh, commando, just running down levels, uh, just blasting the shit out of stuff. Yeah, loads of weapons, just shooting everything that moves. And it's a memory of being quite, quite good. I know a lot of people now liking to see these numbers, so it is, if it will focus off my face, probably not. There you go, focus, is it? Let me uh, get a bit closer to the camera so I can pre-focus it, but it's 131. Let's try and focus that. No, not having it. Not having it. We're still recording? Yeah, just make sure I turned off. It's 131 anyway, which surprises me because my, my mate had this on launch with the PlayStation, I'm sure he did. And that seems to be a really high number saying he had this quite early on, 131. But yeah, it's uh, got its manual and obviously disc. Disc in really good condition as well. Um, the only kind of issue I suppose is the bottom of the uh, the front cover has kind of been folded a little bit but yeah that's that's I'm more than happy with that um, let's have a look so this as well I couldn't find on CX so I don't think they even stock it so that was quite nice to find then this one this out of the three this was the only one I could find on CX and they actually sell this for a fiver anyway so even if I'd have bought this, the other two are kind of free, I suppose, if you look at it that way. Uh, but it trades in for 160, three pound mint or 12 pound to buy mint. Now, like I said, I mean, I, yeah, I wouldn't give it absolute mint because there's some marks on the case. But other than that, you know, the case isn't damaged, isn't cracked. Grace in fact, the disc's in fantastic condition. It's got its manual and slip of uh, warranty thing. But yeah, we've got small soldiers. This is 1,580, I don't think you'll see it again, but 
yeah, it kind of looks alright, obviously based on the uh, the movie. I have no idea what it plays like, I was looking at the back, it's like a, obviously again, 3D shooter, um, playing as both the uh, the Gorgonite and the Commandos. We've got Archvert's Chip in two-player mode. Fierce combat at breakneck speed, 16 addictive uh, 3D battle zones, <clears throat> 14 devastating weapons, and featuring... Tommy Lee Jones as the voice of Chip Hazard. So it's actually got Tommy Lee Jones' voice in there. So that's pretty cool. Like I say, we have the manual, the uh, kind of warranty card and disc, all in great condition. I didn't really read any spiel on the back of this one, but there isn't much to read, to be honest. So, yeah, so that's them too. Then the last one we got, it did have a few games, there wasn't really much more I wanted. This was the only one, other one that I kind of wanted. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the manual, but I picked it up anyway for the deal. Um, I don't know, I could maybe try and source one, I'm not sure. But like I said, again, everything, the case is fine. Again, it's just missing that manual. And again, I couldn't find it on CX, so I have no idea. Um, but the two I couldn't find on CX, this one and the other one, I had a quick look on eBay and they were going for around the five to ten pound mark, so you know, great deal. Three for a fiver anyway. This is five hundred and seven and it's Soviet strike. And it's one of the only, I think is the only, kind of strike games that I've got, and I've heard that these are pretty good. Obviously you're a, you play as the helicopter and a top down view and shooting stuff, as you'd expect. Um Stop the War before it begins. There we are. So yeah, like I say, it's missing the manual on this one, unfortunately. But the disc is there in great condition. It's the only manualist game I've got on the PS1 as well. We didn't look at any screenshots from them, did we? If we can get the glare off. Not really much to see. Yes. Yeah, the glare doesn't help. Sun's in an awkward place as well. So we'll put them on there so we break the cases. So yeah, that's them ones. Now, we did pick up, just because I've noticed it on here, which I've already traded in, which is why I read it. Um, going past a guy, he's got obviously a load of top oil on the floor and stuff. he got a handful of games stacked up, PS2 games. Uh, there wasn't really anything there that I fancied, but a little. That was at the start of his kind of stall, and then about halfway down, just past. There was one game upside down, and it was kind of also something was on top of it so you could only see like the bottom half of the game and I looked at one of the, the pictures I'll see of telling you about the game and I just thought oh that looks rubbish that didn't give me nothing so I kind of just left it and walked on and as you do after we'd walk around we went around for our second walk round looking in a bit more detail and it was still there and the guy was like yeah everything now is a pound or under so I was like, oh, I'll have a quick look, see what this game is. It was Bloody Sims 2 on PS2. So um, I actually got it for 50p in the end. He gave me that for 50p. Um, let me just have a look. Yeah, got it for 50p. It trades in for three quid. So yeah, that's already gone in. Got that bit of credit. And they sell it for £8. So bargain on that one for 50p. I think that was the only thing that I have. Oh no, there is one more thing that I traded in as well, which will come to the, the deal in a minute. Yeah, so next up we got the DS game, and then it's all going to be just checking all Xbox things. So the DS game we got, this had a, a guy was selling a few bits. He had some Blu-rays, but they were like European Blu-rays. They weren't like the British ones. They were obviously all not foreign, but you know you could tell they were different with a big stick. It's probably German or something with a big um, banner they have in the bottom with the number. But yeah, we found this one. This one is in English. They did have some other DS games as well, but they weren't that good. I'm just looking. I paid four quid for this. It trades in for four pound and you buy it for eight quid. So technically got it for half price. Uh, the missus loves this character and style of games. So we'll pick this up. Maybe she can have a go. It's Spyro Shadow Legacy on the DS. Kind of looks right, so I might give it a go. Cart is there in great condition with manual and extra Nintendo book as you get in them. That is a thick manual as well. Is that multilingual? Yeah, multilingual, no wonder. So yeah, 
Got that for four quid, not too bad a price and in great condition. Then we came across this one. Um, guy had boxes of games on the floor. Most were in kind of bad condition. It looks like he'd had them a while. You know, just obviously chuck on the floor covered in dust and what have you. Um, I was flicking through them all and they found one Xbox game that I needed. And I've actually come across a few times and it's either been, obviously as usual, bad condition, missing the manual, that kind of stuff. Um, but I've actually found it with the manual and in good condition. So we finally got Shark Tale in the uh, in the collection. Obviously, game from the movie. Starring, is it Will Smith that plays the shark? Pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, manual and disc. Great condition on that. So, nice to find in the wild and have another one for the collection. This was, when I find it... £1.50, pay for that. I think they wanted two quid a game, but I got it down to £1.50. Um, trades in 30p and is actually a £1.50 game anyway. Uh, but to find it in the wild, always a bonus. So glad I knocked it down actually to £1.50, otherwise I'm already overpaid. I think it used to be more. I think the price has gone down on that one. Then a guy who had, again, a lot of Xbox stuff and a lot of Xbox 360 stuff. And after looking through my list and found that I actually needed this one and found this on the second walk round um, the guy was like oh yeah these are all my spares and I was talking to him saying I'm obviously going for a full set and we're just talking about games and collecting so that was quite nice uh, picked this one up again Xbox title nothing special uh, got it for a quid uh, CX actually sold it for 150 so got it for 50p less trades in for 30p relevant um, NHL hits 2002. So yeah, just sports title, but we got it for under CX price, not too bad. And it does have manual and disc. So one more found at the booter for the collection for the Xbox. So yeah, finally two at the same booter. Wasn't expecting that, so always nice to get. Then, yeah, so this was a lady who said she was kind of a, a game dealer. She was like, oh yeah, I'm the, the cheapest game dealer at car boots and all this. And actually looking at her stuff, to be fair, she was. Um, most, of, most, if not all of her stuff was under CX prices. And she did say, if you buy you know, a load of stuff, I'll do you a deal on them anyway and knock you more off. So I was like, yeah, sound. Looking through the, uh, the Xbox stuff. I've got 360 and Xbox uh, One stuff. Uh, like I say, all under CX prices and she did me a deal in the end as well. Now, I did also pick up, um, yeah, there was a PS3 game I picked up as well, but I've already traded that in, and that was another copy of GTA V. Um, I can't remember, she got these, oh, I'll put the sticker here to remind me. So, she got it up at £4, um, which it trades in for £6, and sells for £10. Uh, last time, my last video I picked this up, it was trading for £7, so the trading in a week has gone down a pound. Uh, but like I said, she did me a deal as well. I think it came, the lot came to £25 and she knocked me the fiver off. So I got another £5 off anyway. Uh, so it's 20 quid for this bundle. And yeah, made already six quid on that. So that was what that sticker was. So the two Xbox One games we got. She got this up at £6. Remember, this is a £20 deal. Um, she knocked me a fiver off. So we've got Call of Duty World War Two. So I've been looking for this one because I'm not a massive Call of Duty fan. I used to be, uh, back in the day, I preferred the war, World War Call of Duties, the old ones, the originals, 2 and 3 especially, um, on the 360. But then after Modern Warfare was okay and I played Black Ops 1 and 2, after that I, it just went off for me and I kind of lost interest. But recently, after picking them up cheap, I have been playing through the campaigns, recently did Modern Warfare 3. Uh, Infinite Warfare was okay, that was a spacey one. And literally just before this video, I've just finished um, Advanced Warfare. That was utter fucking trash. Utter trash. Awful game. Absolutely awful. That's one of the exosuits and it's got... Um, oh, what's his face? Plays the bad guy. Kevin Spacey is in it. Absolute fight. Diabolical game. Awful. Hated it. Um, the levels literally take minutes to complete. It's just, you can run through it so fast. Um, but I just didn't like anything about it. Just quickly ran through it and prolonged it. I literally did a level a day just to keep my achievement streak going, which I'm trying to get in a minute. It's doing quite well. But yeah, anyway, 
off on a tangent. Call of Duty World War Two. Looking forward to playing this one because, like I say, it's gone back to obviously World War, which I find works better for the Call of Duty game. So this now I think is the only one that I didn't have. So now I have them all in the collection, the Call of Duty games, and the only one I haven't played. So now I finish that one, I might start this one. And obviously it has got the campaign multiplayer and zombies with it. So yeah, we'll give that a go. Um, next up was a game I played or been playing on Game Pass. Uh, felt like my physical stuff, so picked this up physical so I could play it any time. Because like I said, my Game Pass has run out. Although I have got enough points now on the Microsoft to buy a month Game Pass, which I'll get at some point. Um, this was up at £4. I'm just having a look. Trades in for three and six, sell it for five. So, you know, not too bad a deal. It is Metal Gear Survive. Now, <laughs> there was obviously a massive hoo-ha about this game with um, Hideo Kojima leaving Konami and the Metal Gear series being up in the air and Konami carrying on Metal Gear with this. If you take away the Metal Gear name and everything Metal Gear... It's not a bad game. It's all right. Yeah, just don't treat it as anything to do with Metal Gear because really it hasn't got anything to do with Metal Gear. Um, it's kind of supposed to take on from um, the last Metal Gear game, the Ground Zeroes and stuff, where the base is attacked and basically you play as just a soldier that gets sucked into a wormhole and is just put in this kind of desert barren land and you have to make a base and stuff and survive hordes of these kind of kind of zombies it's got like crystals in their head and stuff it's really bizarre but as a basic kind of survival game it's not too bad so you can go explore the the wilderness um collect items that kind of stuff and go hunting and yeah as that and building a base it's actually quite fun and it's all right but just don't expect anything metal gear from it um but yeah, I was enjoying that, so um, I can get back into that. It's the disc. I didn't actually show you the disc for Modern Warfare, do we? People like to see the disc. That has got the disc in there and the slip of paper explaining the season pass. So a little flyer in there as well for that one. Then we had some 360 games. This one I think was actually worked out the best. So if you have one Kinect game I need, obviously going for that full Kinect set, it is Kinect Game Party in Motion. She had that up at two quid. And that actually trades in for two quid and is a five pound game. So not too bad on that one. Uh, it looks a bit like kind of uh, Connect Sports. It's got 16 action pack games. It looks like it's got some kind of air hockey game, which could be cool. Um, I don't know, is it right? Here we go. Darts, puck bowling, root beer tapper, table hockey, QB in motion, whatever the hell that is. Uh, Boastball? B-O-C-C-E? Boastball? No idea. Horseshoe Hysteria, Ping Cup, and more. So yeah, don't know, it could be fun, especially at Christmas coming up. Me and the family will have a few little arcade games, complete with manual. So yeah, not too bad on that one. Then, found a... Oh, no, we'll come back to that, because that will explain that. So this one I've not seen before, so I thought I'd grab this. It does have a CX sticker on there actually for 10 quid, but she got up at 3 quid. Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. Now there are two Hot Wheel games on the 360, so that's one down. This, like I said, she got up at 3 quid. It trades in for 4 and is an £8 game. So bargain on that one too. It's got motorbikes, um, big wheel trucks and all kinds of cars on there. Might be alright. But yeah, complete with the manual. So yeah, not seen that one around at all. Or if not much, so quite happy to get that one. Then we had a couple of Lego games. Why I've messed up on. So the first one. And I've nearly got all the Lego games now. Um, first one is just the Lego the movie. Got up at £3. And this one... Trades in for £3 and is a £6 game. So another bargain on that one. And it has this little manual in there. Yeah, me and the missus like playing for our Lego games, so we will go through these. And the one I messed up on, see if you can spot it. 
So this was up at three pound, and if it would have been all right, trades in for three pound is actually an eight pound game. So it's even more. Um, I did, I needed this one, although I think I've got it digitally. I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. Um, she does say she's there every week, and we might go there again tomorrow. So I might take it with me and see if she'll let me swap it for another one. I don't know. Maybe. She was quite nice. We did have a chat with her. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. But it's Lego Indiana Jones. The adventure continues. Have you spotted it yet? Yes. This should have gave it away. i seen that and I thought, I've not seen that on game before. Completely ignoring. It's bloody American. Yeah. It even says there, she's not put it over at NTSC. I just didn't look. i just seen I needed it. Picked it up. Um... Yeah, it wasn't until I actually opened the case and seen it on the disc. But it's complete with manual. But yeah, NTSC disc and manual as well. Mm, yeah, I messed up. So I might see if I can take it if she swap it. If not, I don't know. I doubt CX will take it. Even some retard might not might notice that and not take it in. I could always try. Yeah, I'll get my money back on it. I don't know. We'll see. It's there for now. Let's get rid of that. So, was that everything? Let me double check my list. That was everything from that car boot. So, a little breakdown. Uh, paid £32 for the lot. If I was to trade it all in, minus the two, obviously, PlayStation 1 games that I can't trade in because I couldn't find them, it was £33.20, so not much. Uh, but pretty much all of it's for the collection anyway, by the two that I want to trade in, which I already have. Uh, if I was to buy it all from CX, again, minus them two games, it would have been £74. So, not too bad. Not too bad. It's just nice to get stuff for the collection. Like I say, PS1 games as well that we needed. So, put that up there and crack on with all the other pickups because there's still quite a bit to go through. And it's getting already really hot in here, even though the sun's gone in. I'll close my door as well because the missus is doing something. So, with some of the bits that I first traded in, I think with just them games, um, when I was in there I did find a 360 game actually that I'd not seen around much and I thought I'd, I'll pick this up while I've got it. Looking at it, it looks like it's in an actual original Xbox case. We have a look. Yeah, it might actually be an original Xbox case, so I might swap it out, I don't know. But for six quid uh, trade credit, we got Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. On 360, again, a game you just don't see much of, uh, but it looks all right. So it's co-op as well. So me and Mrs. could play this. You can play as Bugs, Daffy, Taz, Marvin, and more. It looks like a just 3D platform. I don't know. Shooter maybe. Bugs looks like he's got he's got a big gun on that one there. Yeah, some uh, screen and shots for you. So, offer 15 pick up and play Acme weapons, so yeah, shooter, plus a range of upgradable melee weapons. Take on the evil scientist, solo or in two player co op mode. Battle your friends in arena battle mode. Race a jet scooter through space or wage battle in a sidecar motorcycle. So, it looks like it's got a bit of variety to it. Really good condition, nice manual on that one as well. Obviously, all complete. That was just nice to add to the collection. A little bit of a credit. Plus, obviously, still got loads left. Then, like I say, the next day, we went down to good old Skeg. Had a nice day down there just before my birthday. and Just chilled out. Went to see what was happening. The arcades and that. It was actually not too busy. It was nice. We'd get around fine. Um, you do have to wear face coverings in the arcades, which weren't really a problem. They weren't even that busy. You could get around and play what you wanted. Plenty of hand sanitizer everywhere, um, and we just had a really good day. So, like I say, at the start of the morning, I went and traded a load of stuff in. Obviously, that was going to take a couple of hours, so we had a look around the shops, had a quick go on some arcades before going back, picking up my credit, and picking up three things actually with some of the credit that I had, and obviously, still got loads left. One being an Xbox game, yes, went all the way to Skeg to find this, and I uh, found an Xbox game I needed, and it's actually one. That I had on my list to buy on CX Online. So I'm quite happy to find this in the wild. I've been looking at it actually as a, one of the ones that I really wanted in the collection to, to give a go. So yeah, we'll kick off with this one. 
on the Xbox for £12, we've got Wrath Unleashed. See, so yeah, this looks quite interesting. We've got dragons and monsters and stuff on it. 32 fantastical creatures from four unique realms. Accessible multiplayer action for up to four players. One on one arena style fighting with special attacks and combo moves. Move your army across the map to secure and eventually dominate the entire battlefield. So it looks like it's got some kind of excellent grid get based um, battle system there on the bottom. And obviously, as you take over the, the battlefield, you then have a one on one battle with your rivals and what have you. Looks interesting. And obviously the bonus best thing about it all, it has its manual. So yeah, I can take that off my online order now. And this is a really nice disc. I think someone else mentioned this. Um, might have been on one of the Facebook pages, but it's kind of a... I don't think you'll see properly on camera. But the disc is kind of 3D. Really nice 3D hollow effect and the colours really pop on it. Yeah, it's quite unique actually. I really like that. So glad to find that one in the wild. Love finding stuff in the wild still um, before getting my stuff online. And then two 360 games we've got from there as well. One I'd recently picked up in my local bit didn't have its manual. Uh, so nice to find it with its manual for two quid. Um, Bullet Witch. And this is quite infamous on the 360. It's quite an early game. Obviously he plays a witch with a massive gun. Um, it looks like a sniper rifle. And yeah, you just go through blasting stuff. Um, but the controls are supposed to be a little bit clunky. But the thing that makes this more notorious, especially against achievement hunters, is the last achievement, or there's one achievement on there worth one gamer score, one G, for completing the game on the hardest difficulty. And <laughs> it's supposed to be absolutely solid. So you kind of sit 999 and you just need to go through the game again on the hardest difficulty to get that 1G to, to complete it. And it's supposed to be a right ball ache because of how hard it is and with the controls. But yeah, it does have a really nice manual in there and disc. We'll be giving that a go at some point. Let's have a look at some old screenshots. So have a little bit of blurb, we've astounding magic with a fearsome arsenal of spells, Alicia can turn the city into a sea of roaring flame and wreck unbelievable havoc. Glorious environmental damage brought to life with an advanced physics engine, providing the perfect platform for Alicia's spells to be represented in all their majestic cataclysmic glory. We'll fearsome weaponry that can be transformed into even more powerful weapons to completely obliterate those who stand in your way. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, magic powers of a witch and a hefty staff-like weapon. The gun rod. <laughs> the gun rod. Yes. Witch with a gun rod. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, we'll give that a go and see what it's like. Um, this, I've been looking to try and get this at a car boot. It seems a game that you can find at a car boot. But after looking for it, I've not bloody found it anywhere. But finally found it in this CX in really good condition. It's like new. Um, and it's a limited edition version as well of Anarchy Reigns for 250 I'm sure it's, uh, yeah, on the back includes exclusive downloadable content. Bayonetta as a playable character. And two extra multiplayer modes, Dogfight and Mad Survival. So it does have the disc and the manual. However, there is no code for that extra content. Don't mind. Um, probably wouldn't work anyway, but it is nice to have that there as a complete thing, so I might just look out for another one. So it does have a single player mode on there because it just looked like a yeah, 16 player battle royale. Could be interesting with all the multiplayer modes. Wide host of characters and stuff down there. Yeah, I don't know, it kind of looks alright. Just to say it's got a single player mode, so we'll go through it at some point and actually see what it's like. Then, where did we get these from? Ah, so that was it from the CX. And not far from the CX if you've been to Skeggy, I'm sure most of you have. As you're going back into town, there's a little kind of shopping centre and there's a game in there. 
So we stuck her head in because I needed to pick some up for my nephew and what have you. Um, I had a look at the games and they've actually still got quite a lot of old stock in there from last gen. So they've got some Wii stuff, Wii U, DS, uh, obviously PS3 and Xbox 360. Really cheap as you can imagine. Uh, didn't pick any of the other stuff up. I kind of wish I'd have maybe picked up a Wii, or Wii U game now. I probably should have done. Uh, but got a load of 360 stuff. All the stuff that I needed basically had left. And we also did an Xbox One deal. Which was the four for 20 quid. So a fiver each. And on this deal we got um, Forza Horizon 2. The day one edition for the Xbox One. So that is all the Forza Horizon games now. I do have this on 360. But obviously it's going to look amazing. On the uh, Xbox One, it's gonna look even better. And like I said, I've been getting into these a lot, so definitely be getting on that at some point. Then a game that me and the missus want to play. It was on Game Pass, but it left before we got to play it. Um, so yeah, we'll look at playing this. Although looking at it is only online co-op, so we can't play it split screen, which is a shame. We wanted to do that this week, so we might. I'll give it a go if we enjoy it. I'll probably pick up another copy. Strange Brigade on the Xbox One. Obviously none of these are flies or anything in it because from bloody game. Even if they had them, I don't know. Um, one to four player campaign, treacherous traps and puzzles, horde and score attack mode. So yeah, it looks quite interesting, but no, I should like to say not played it yet. I might give that a go later. It does look good. A game that is on Game Pass, but I like my physical copies. And this is supposed to be quite an easy completion as well. I think both um, Lewis and Rob have done this. Um, Tekken 7. So yeah, we'll give this a go. See what it's like. I do like some of the, the Tekken characters. Warang being my favourite. Unstoppable, unbeatable. Got a disc there. Um, so I'm hoping he's still in the game. I would imagine so. As well as some new characters. Over 35 iconic characters. And all new characters experience the epic cinematic story mode. Yeah, not played it yet, but we'll give that a go at some point. And a game I was holding off because I wanted the collector's edition that comes with a grappling hook, but just decided to leave it for now. Space and what have you. Um, we seeing this in the deal and I needed another one for the four. And there wasn't much more to choose from, so finally picked it up. Just cause three. I do have the first two on Xbox and Xbox 360. Um, I actually need to finish the second one. But yeah, absolute mental game, games. Open world um, island that you can just do what you want on it. And like I said, with his grappling hook, you can stick things to other things. And yeah, just have loads of fun on it. Like stick a guy to a propane tank, shoot the propane tank. And let it fly off with a guy attached to it. Yeah, just absolutely madness. Um, so yeah, we'll finally get around to playing the third one. Do need to get the fourth one as well. Uh, this is a copy that says it has the full game download of two, which I'm not bothered about now because I've already got the game. Um, but it does have that banner containing the uh, extra weaponized vehicle pack and Bloodhound RPG. Obviously not in there because game. Yeah. I don't know why I still bother with them. But yes, this store had a lot. Like I say, of last gen stuff, so we picked up basically everything that we'd not already got. And these were ranging from like 9p to 49p. So yeah, most of them I think were 49p and then the sports titles towards the end were like 9p or whatever. And this first one was actually the, probably the best deal, if not the second best deal of them all. Because I looked on CX afterwards when I got home looking what kind of deal I'd got. Um, most of them kind of on par price anyway, but this one was either a £2.50 or a £5 game and they had two copies of this, so I wish I'd pick the other one up now for anyone else that might need it, like Robin Lewis who had collected for 360 uh, But another Kinect game, like I just said, and it's Me Coach, My Coach. No idea. Football, Rugby, Basketball, Tennis and Running. Um, yeah, I guess they just train you. Yeah. In how to play and training stuff I don't bloody know but it's got actual people in there from their relevant sports and disciplines train with your hero choose your favorite sports and train side by try side by side with 13 of your Adidas sporting heroes 
including Gareth Bale, Jessica Ennis, Kaka, Anna Ivanovic, I'm not even pronouncing that last one, God knows, Marad Nonu, God knows. Complete training, 400 plus exercises in strength and flexibility, cardio condition and training games. Full body motion tracking. Yeah, I don't know, obviously all this stuff is not going to have the bloody manuals because, again, fucking game. Chucked them all away. Um, and this is actually a two disc game as well, for whatever reason. Got both discs in there, one or two. Um, and Eddie, bloody 505 game. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, got a good deal on it. I've just got to try and find the manuals for all these now. That's the only pain. Got them cheap enough. Might be able to source them. Um, the Destiny Taken King variant of the box, although reading the back, it is just the Destiny disc and all the expansions that you should have got, expansion 1, 2 and the Taken King, were a download code inside it. Obviously, it doesn't bloody have it. Uh, but just to have the unique box on there, I'll try and find that slip of paper, I don't know. I won't play it on the 360 anyway, plus the game shares from the 360 to the one version. So I'll be playing it on the one anyway, so not too fussed about that. Um, yeah, there were two of these. Got The other one I think is, has a year number on it, which I think came out after this one. So I think this is the original one, uh, but it's Rocksmith. Don't have a an actual guitar to play the game. <laughs> yeah, we've got the, the game now. Uh, they've got some good songs on there actually on the uh, soundtrack. Let you have a quick gander at your own pace. Feel free to pause or whatever. Again, no freaking manual. So, yeah, I guess I need a guitar now. Could be interesting to play actually, I don't know. I'm not actually played an actual guitar. Much. A friend of mine used to play guitar, I used to live with him, taught me a few notes, but. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you're probably seeing charity shops all over the place, but yeah, pick these up and obviously got my points on them as well. Uh, Beijing 2008. I think this is actually like a pound game or something. Um, so I actually did save on these as well. You can see the disc. Yeah, it's just an Olympic game, isn't it? Uh, a rugby game, Rugby World Cup 2011. Is this a pound game as well? I think most of them were like pound games in CX. Obviously, they've gone for like half price or less. And then a load of shite Pez games just to fill out that collection. I think this first one I messed up on because I really fucking have it. Um, I just not updated my pictures, so I didn't think I'd got it. But yeah, Pez 10 to kick off with. So that's a dupe. Not worth trading because it's probably a penny. I think that only costs 9p anyway, so if any of you guys do need it in your collection, I've got a spare. You can have that. Um, then the ones that I did need. Pez 2012. With that bell end on the front. And again on Pez 13. Do have the holograms on there. So that's quite nice. Yeah, not worth anything. But this last one actually is. Um, so I think this was 49p. But then when I checked CX it was either... Again, it was either a £2.50 game or a £5 game. Again, for a Pez game, ridiculous. But 49p, happy to have it for that. It's a day one edition with exclusive My Club content. Obviously, not in there. But we've got the Pez 2015. I think this was the only copy they had of this as well. So, I mean, I could have picked more up. I think it would have been traded in for quite a bit. Traded it for more than got it for anyway. This one probably doesn't have a manual because it has that wording on the back. I don't know, if you guys have any of these, let me know if you can, which ones do and don't have manuals. And that would be helpful, so I know what to look out for. Yeah. Tap. They are stu... Some... 360 tap for you, mate. There's more to go. And that is tap. Fully agree. That is tatty tap. And the last thing we got from Skeg, because we like to play our arcades and get some tickets and then see what crap we can buy with them. But I actually got an okay thing this time. The only thing they really had that was half decent, and it was gaming related, so I thought, yeah, we'll pick one of them up. Um, it is a lamp. It's a Crash Bandicoot light. Uh, we got number two, because it was the best one they had. 
uh, the Aku Aku light. So let's try and get some glare off that. So there's the light of the mask from Crash Bandicoot, number two in the series of series one. So there's the three they have in the series. Now they didn't have the um, Cortex one there to choose from anyway. Um, they did have the Crash Bandicoot one, which to be honest was not very good. Let's try and get that. Yeah. Yeah, it just wasn't a very good light. He's pulling a weird kind of bizarre face, but his body just, it looked cheap. It did look nasty. This was by far the best one. And I guess they had a Series 2 one there as well because they did have the TNT box, but that was more tickets for some reason than these. And we just had enough tickets to get this one. And we're running out of time to get more tickets. So, I mean, I'm quite happy with that. It looks quite good. So that would look nice in the gaming room. A little bit of extra pickup from down there. Then we have all these extra bits that I got uh, from a trip into town. And the mean missus has some shopping to do, went and watched a film and she won a competition for a mini golf course, so went and played some of that. And while we're there, I had some bits to pick up. Um, so we'll start with that. So one thing I went for, which I pre-ordered before lockdown. Obviously lockdown happened. I couldn't get it because all the shops were closed. But HMV have opened again now, so I've managed to pick up my copy of um, Birds of Prey. Hang on, this has got a ridiculous name, isn't it? Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. So it's a steelbook 4K. Not actually seen the film yet, just not got round to it. So I might watch this tonight. And the back of that steelbook. And inside, oh, we've got a little fly off a of Wonder Woman. Oh, and some more bits. It does have, I'm not going to get it all out, but it has a, um, I guess, one of her hyenas and Harley Quinn's this side um, with a summit between the mouths that they're eating together. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So another steel book for that collection as well. I do like the steel books, as a few people do. So quite nice. Let's put that, oh, I can put that there. Then the few bits that I found in there. Now I already have this game and all the DLC, digital that I bought obviously. Um, but I've not got this version of it on the 360, I've got it on the PS3. So when I seen this for a quid, I thought yeah I'd pick that up. For some reason CX don't sell this, at least as a separate pick, um, on the 360. They've got it on the PS3 as a separate item and the P PC as a separate item, but not on the 360. Uh, so when I seen it for a quid, I thought I'd definitely picking that up. Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, which includes all the DLC, which, like I say, I've already got. But the code is in there on the back of the manual to get it. So that's quite nice. Just off the next thing, I, I quite enjoyed the game. It was good co-op, if you was playing it co-op. Like, single player using a chef is just a pain in the arse. Yeah, it was a quid from um, Cash Converters. So not too bad. Quite that it's a really nice condition one as well. So stick that up and then these last two, again, more 360 tap stew. Um, these were from a charity shop. I think it was two for a pound on all their digital stuff. And these were the only two that I needed. I just noticed the camera was gonna run out. Uh, so yeah, these are the only two there that I needed. So 50p each, I'll pick them up. Pure football. On the 360, all complete, and 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa. I thought I had this, but it wasn't. It was the Brazil one that I've got. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, so I needed that one. It was the Brazil one I've got, and now I've got South Africa. So I've got both of them. And uh, that was pretty much it for game pickups. Um, We'll do them bits last. There's two more things I got from town, which are game related, but not games. Uh, but the last game that I've got to show you, I'll do that now. This was from the missus for my birthday. Uh, I gave her a list of games that I've been looking for, and then she obviously just picked one. And the one she picked for me, which I've really been wanting to get back into after playing it again on the Game Pass, and I wanted this version of it. It's a limited edition version of The Surge 2. So this plays kind of like a Dark Souls game where obviously you're collecting bits to build up. If you die, you lose all your um, bit of comrade. What is it in nice? It's like 
because obviously you're not collecting souls. I don't think. I can't remember what it is now. I've only played a little bit of it. I've got the first one to finish as well. But yeah, whatever it is you're collecting, let's say souls, um, obviously you lose them, you have to try and get back to get them and that kind of stuff. Um, but you have... Um, you can augment your body and the enemies you're fighting, uh, when you kill them, you can choose to hop to lop off different parts of the body so you can lop off their arms, legs, head um, or their obviously torso and whatever you choose to either lop off or not damage as much you can take for yourself so you can take their arms to make yourself better in that kind of way so we've got quite a bit of um, extra stuff in this we've got a lecticular exclusive cover which is there on the front which is quite nice uh, an 8 page comic book 3 lithographs a double-sided poster, uh, da, 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 and obviously the game. So, are we in cuts? We had two. So what's that? Yeah. We're in on for time, but I'll try and show you quickly inside the bits for those interested. So, first off, obviously we have the game with the disc. We have that big rectangular front cover which comes out separate we have the uh, the comic book out of the ashes the poster Let's see if we can get this out it's not overly massive a good size one so one side has it says to artwork and then on the back, I don't know which way up, I think that way has some kind of diagram of a mech or something from the game. Like I say I haven't got too far into this game yet because I was playing the first one. Do -do -do -do. Then we have inside a blank white envelope we have our three lithographs. We've got the Jericho City Police Department. We have Cloud Nine. And the last one is Gideon's Rock. It's quite a nice one. So yeah, just nice to have. So happy with that. Then the extra bits we got from town. Now, these first two I had messaged Lewis about, he's got these from Forbidden Planet. All this stuff was from Forbidden Planet actually, and they were having a massive sale. Loads of it was like half price. And they got, my missus actually found the box of vinyls. So they've got a couple of gaming vinyls, two of which I've picked up. One more which I didn't pick up, but I did message Lewis to see if he wanted it, but he already got it. I think it was a Gunstars Heroes one. And then a load of movie ones, but nothing I was really interested in. So I picked up two vinyls. Great prices on these. Um, and yeah, quite happy to get on. These are my, my first two that I've got. I'm not going for a, a load, but if I do come across them, especially when they're reduced this much, I'll probably be picking them up. So this should have been $29.99, and we've been reduced $17.99, and it's the Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest vinyl from a company called Mondo. So available for the first time ever on vinyl. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Nice artwork on it. Nice. Really nice. Yeah. So coming soon, Castlevania, Dracula's Curse, Super Castlevania 4, Symphony of the Night. Yeah, that's one they had. So I thought I'm picking that up. And that space. And the other one I got, which this probably more me. Uh, this should have been forty nine ninety nine, so fifty quid. Uh, they actually had two of these. Uh, I forgot to mention to Lewis. So if you're watching this now, Lewis, they might have one copy left. But you've probably got these anyway. I'm pretty sure you love these two. Um, this one was marked up at twenty eight ninety nine. The other one was marked up at twenty nine ninety nine. It's got an extra pound off. So if you haven't got it, Lewis, you could be paying a pound more. Um, yeah, this one's fantastic. It comes on two pressed. 180 gram coloured vinyls. Uh, these are still shrimp wrapped, I'm not going to be opening them yet. Um, but it is the Metal Gear Solid 3 vinyl for Snake Heater. That's awesome there. Solid snake with a snake going around. 
and the soundtrack to this game is fantastic anyway. Oh, just put it that side away from there. We are. I can see now because the song's not on it. Uh, with the old Metal Gear on there. Yeah, the I mean a lot of this, the music on the Metal Gear stuff is from one of my favourite composers anyway. Um, who I didn't realise, but then, yeah, even if you don't know his name, you'll know his music. He's done everything, movies and games. Uh, Harry Gregson Williams does a lot of the Metal Gear stuff. Um, I've just found out actually completing that last Call of Duty, did some Call of Duty music. Um, he did films like The Rock um, with Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery. But yeah, just, you'll know his music. He's done so much in films and stuff. And yeah, the, the theme song and the, the music for this game is fantastic. So well happy to get this at a good price on two coloured vinyls. So yeah, we'll be looking at them later. So they're the two that I've got, we've got from that. And the last thing we got, um, again, reduced, it was £100, 99.99, reduced down to 54.99, absolute bargain. You look for this online, the prices are ridiculous. And it's quite hard to kind of get hold of. And it does have a lot of expansions for it as well, which I'll be looking at getting. Um, they had a lot of board games there, marked down. I wish I, there was two more I wish I'd have picked up now, and I might go back and get them. Um, but the one we did get is the Resident Evil 2 board game. Uh, I've opened it because we played this last night and actually really good. Really enjoyed it. It's kind of similar to like a, a zombie side if you've seen or played that. Um, one to four players. But yeah, there we are. There is what the box contains, including these figures here. So there's four playable characters. Uh, Leon, Claire, Ada or... Um, Kendo, the gun shop guy. Uh, loads of zombies uh, pieces. There's some zombie dogs in there. A couple of liquors. A G-form boss and the Birkin Stage 3 boss, which is that one there. Loads of tiles to make up big boards. The scenarios we've played so far. Cause there's a scenario book in there, so you can play scenarios throughout all the, the Resident Evil 2 game. So we've got to the police station, uh, we've searched the police station and got to the star's office and that's where we are so far. So we played the first two campaigns, which just introduced you to the rules slowly and now we're ready for the full rules game moving on. But yeah, you basically play through the whole the game from the police station uh, going on to the, the laboratory and stuff. And you can play each scenario as a separate scenario or you can run through the entire scenario keeping your weapons and health as you go. So that would be interesting to do. And uh, yeah, look at playing forward to playing some more of this, which we probably will do later. And I'm going to look online in a bit and see if I can find some expansions and how much they are. So there we are. Just double checking I've not missed anything this time. Probably bloody have. Our pickups for this week, month, I don't know. Yeah, let me know. What do you reckon? Have you uh, played the board game yourself? Come across it? Uh, what were your favourite games, if you played any? Again, let me know. There were games missing the manuals if they do have manuals. Most of them do have manuals, I know. But especially the football games, if they have manuals or not, which ones do and don't. And I can start looking out for them. Yeah. So, there's our pickups. Like I say, back, hopefully booting tomorrow, weather permitting. So we'll have a video for that, as well as any other pickups I might get along the way. And I'm going to get on CX in a minute as well and start ordering these Xbox games. So there'll be a massive CX Xbox video coming, hopefully in the next few weeks, month, whenever they get delivered, um, to do on that one as well. As well as some other videos I've got planned in my head that I might try and get around to doing. Yeah, so I've still got, like I say, I've still got a fair few days off um, of my holiday left, which I'll just be playing games, playing that board game and just doing stuff. Um, then I'm back at work for a few weeks, but then we have another two weeks off uh, for me and the girlfriend's birthday. Um, it's her, a biggish one for her. We were planning on doing something special and going away. Obviously, with everything that's cracked off, we can't do that now. So I don't know. We're going to look at doing something. Not sure yet, but I'll have some time to do some more videos then as well. So yeah, in the time being, take care, guys. Hope you have enjoyed, and. Uh, We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.